Woolly here. Hey, how you doing? JJ. Um, it's not Woolly. I've come out here today to do a uh, short video um, that's, that's in collaboration with uh, a good friend of mine, um, Woolly's World, and uh, my good friend Dermid Farmer over in Ireland. Um, Dermid has got an absolutely fantastic channel which I want you guys to check out, Woolly's World. Okay, you can find him on Facebook, um, YouTube, his YouTube channel is fantastic. You can find him on Instagram, all other kinds of, kinds of feed, um, Twitter, Morse code, semaphore, you name it, he's got the whole kit and caboodle. Woolly's World, fantastic channel. Go into my um, subscriptions and scroll down, find Woolly's World. Woolly did, um, just around Christmas time, a video um, for books for the budding bushcrafter. Yes, I did it. Four books for the budding bushcrafter. And it was a great video. He chose some brilliant books. Um, I will share that video across my media platforms. And I kind of messaged him, because um, we message occasionally, and I said, oh man, you beat me to it. I was gonna do something like that. So he said we do a collaboration in some sort of shape or form. So I'm gonna share Woolly's World video on the four books for the budding bushcrafter. And when this one goes up, um, Dermid is gonna share that on his Woolly's World and across his media platform. That's what we do, we work together, we help each other grow and share and spread the, the knowledge and what we get up to. So he chose four great books and this is the books that I want to show you. And they're, they're, they're slightly different, okay? These are all books that can help you in one way or another, um, progress your, your skill set, your knowledge, and hopefully share that on. So let me come and show you, let me come and show you. Okay, so this is a pocket size version of an absolutely fantastic book. Okay, this is Food for Free. Now, this is by Collins Gem. All you need to know Food for Free. An absolutely fantastic feast of plants and folklore. This was brought out by Richard Maybe, 1972, the original version. Um, and they were like hand-drawn pictures since been updated with proper photographs and there's a few versions of this out there but in terms of carrying it around this is absolutely indispensable it gives you a guide to over 100 edible plants berries mushrooms seaweed and shellfish and they're all beautifully illustrated um, advice on when to gather it what to pick and how to cook it that's number one brilliant pocket size look smaller than the hand you can whack it in any of your pockets when you're out absolutely fantastic this one okay a lot of my good friends have this book can you see this this is woodland craft by ben law an absolutely fantastic book which uh, accompanies wood woodsman ben law as he celebrates the amazing diversity of craft products made from materials sourced directly from the woods including brooms rakes pegs spoons chairs baskets fencing yurts and even a caravan um, it's got a foreword by hugh fernley whittingstall it is an absolutely brilliant brilliant book um, the the pictures are fantastic the illustrations are really clear and it's very concise you can gather a lot of knowledge this has got so much stuff in there if you're a lot of budding bushcrafter and you don't just want to be like sharpening knives and axes you want to get up to stuff when you're out this book is absolutely fantastic that's number two number three now you might have to do a bit of searching to find this one okay it does have like a bit of a shiny front. Now this is called From Spark to Flame by Ovind Berg. Now when I put this video up, I'll do a comment and I will list all of the books and who they are by. From Spark to Flame. Yeah, fire from Spark to Flame. The Scandinavian Art of Fire Making. 
I have to say, this book is beautifully done. It has got everything from cooking over open flame, types of campfire. Again, the pictures are absolutely incredible. And the, the, the illustrations, again, they're beautifully illustrated and it, it separates it all out. Now, it's not an easy book to find, but if, if I give you the, um, I think it's by Carlton Books, but again, I'll, I'll list all of these. And that, out of the precious embers of the first fires, man has carried the skills of cooking, heating, and gathering down the generations. Our relationship with fire blades is strong even now. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful book. That's number three. Now, when Willie did his video, he chose um, a great book by what has to be considered the, 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 the original sort of like bushcraft legend himself who sadly passed away, Mors Kachansky, which was Mors Kachansky Bushcraft. Um, great, great book. So I had to find another one that is held in just as high esteem and regard. And spe especially for me, it is this book here. Okay. I've had this for a little while. This is Ray Mears Bushcraft Survival. Okay, it's been out a little while, and again, it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful book, and Ray Mears is an absolutely legend across the industry, worldwide, you know, his television programs are uh, recognized worldwide. Um, he is an absolute legend. I've actually had the pleasure of meeting him um, on a couple of occasions, and I think, is it this book? Yeah, I've even got it signed by him. And he's got his little signature there. And he's also at the Bushcraft Show 2020 this year. Can't wait for that. So yeah, Ray Mears Bushcraft and Survival. Four fantastic books. Four books for the budding bushcrafter. So I'll, I'll back this video up. Um, these books, I think they can offer a little bit of everything to someone that's looking to sort of get into bushcraft and progress their knowledge and their skill sets and then sort of share that across because that's what we do. So, as uh, Wooly would say, stay frosty. Thanks for tuning in, we'll catch up again soon. I'm gonna go and have a, have a brew and cook up some food. Catch up again soon. Four books for the budding bushcrafter. Check out Wooly's World, fantastic channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, that notification bell. We'll catch up soon. Bye.